And hear me when I say this, leftist politicians in Washington, D.C. We need to make as much of an invested investment protecting our children as the American people do in protecting you. Mark Robinson went hard at the NRA. Brought to you by Noble Gold. Brought to you by Noble Gold. Ladies and gentlemen, people have been making this competition between crypto and gold. And I think there's no real competition. It's like comparing a truck to an SUV. They're similar, but they have two different functions. Function The functionality of gold and precious metals is to preserve your money, keep your money safe. And as we can see, the stock market has been crashing and going crazy. But gold has maintained its value probably better than just about any other value uh, that you've seen. I'm not the expert. I'm not the expert on gold. I'm not the expert in diversifying your income. However, the people at Noble Gold are the experts, so just give them a call at 877-646-5347, 877-646-5347, or go online to noblegoldinvestments.com, and if you qualify for a new IRA with them, you will get an incredible three-ounce silver American virtue coin completely free to you. Thank you uh, from them. Y'all already know what to do. Like and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into this. Mark Robinson. I love him, man. If, if, if the, the man's man. And I don't know if it's his southern voice. I don't know if it's because Mark Robinson is just bold and courageous. He'll say whatever he got to say. He's God, I wish he ran for president. But I want y'all to listen to Mark Robinson's statement at the NRA convention because I feel like this is my whole thing. I feel like they want us to back down and cower. They want to take our guns. That's it. That's what this is about. This is not about helping children. This is not. They wanted to use that tragedy to take all of our guns. Because if they really wanted to help, we could talk about whatever legislation y'all want to talk about at another time. You can instantaneously put people in the schools to prepare these teachers, prepare the law enforcement agencies, and keep our children safe. However, this ain't about me. This ain't about them. It's about Mark Robinson. Wrote a film. Hear me when I say this, leftist politicians in Washington, D.C., we need to make as much of an invested investment protecting our children as the American people do in protecting you. You spare no expense buying every weapon known to man, buying every metal detector known to man, every modern convenience you have it at your disposal to protect you behind the walls that you live in. But you are bound and determined to leave our children defenseless. And now you are bound and determined to, de to leave the law-abiding patriotic citizens of this nation unarmed and defenseless. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, get your pencils out, lick them, and get ready to write this down. It is not going to happen. We are not going to go off into that good night without standing up for our right. I just love that man. That is how you stand up for what's right. It's not that hard. It's very simple, ladies and gentlemen. It's very simple. It's very simple. We don't have to talk much. It's very simple. These politicians are on their Twitters as we speak, talking all this mess about there should never be rifles. Nobody should have rifles. Let's just think about this for a minute because it's, it's really a simple process. Let's think about this for a minute. If you're going to go down the path of saying we're going to take rifles from every single person in the United States of America, there's hundreds of millions, I think close to 100 million rifles in the United States of America. God knows which ones are recorded, which ones are not recorded, so on and so forth. If the government decides to do that, how long is that going to take? Because you ain't going to get the stolen ones. The ones that are stolen, that they're not reporting, that are circulating, coming in from the border, people printing guns, you ain't getting those. So... How long is it going to take for law-abiding citizens to comply and give up their rifles? 10 years? 15 years? How long is it going to take y'all to come to an agreement? Never? And then when people give up their stuff, the criminals still got guns. Mean, in, in the meantime, these schools are unprotected. These schools are unprotected. And I made another video, and we'll link the video somewhere in here, where I show how these schools are being proactive and doing what they have to do. This should be easily available and accessible to every school in the United States of America. But while y'all wait on the legislation and arguing back and forth, right now, as we speak, we could have our schools protected. We could have teachers being trained. We could have a security at the schools. 
we can have locking mechanisms and things put in place and people to actually do what they're supposed to do. As we learned in Uvalde, they, they had they had the school secured, but there was one teacher, and I don't know what, what the reason it was. I don't know how it ended up happening, but she didn't lock the door behind her when she ran into the school. And then also when you add to that, the police weren't prepared. They didn't have the tools necessary to, to force entry into that school. They had to wait for agencies from an hour away to get there with the proper equipment to force entry into that classroom to save as many kids as they could after this guy went on a rampage. So ladies and gentlemen, it's very clear. It's a, it's a very solid method. We take care of our schools. Quit listening to these fake politicians. Mark Robinson was on point. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here. Thank you.